Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. Today we have another Mercedes-Benz SL500. We've actually got three in stock and this particular car is silver. It's an 03 and it's done just 64,000 kilometres since it was new. So it has very low kilometres indeed. A very good service history. It's Australian delivered from new. It's got navigation. It's grey with light grey leather interior. A very nice combination. You've got navigation. Bluetooth. It's got an aftermarket Bluetooth which actually works particularly well. Um, came standard with heated and air conditioned seats and memory electric seats, drivers and passenger side. It's a two seater. At the click of a button, the front seat goes forward. You've got storage in the back here on this side. And on the other side, you've got your stacker. In the back, you've got these seat belts. Obviously, there's no seats in the back. So what you do is you take that out and you plug it in down the bottom there. And that's if you've got luggage. So if you've got the roof off and you've got a couple of suitcases or a suitcase, you can just put it in the back and secure it. The car is in immaculate condition. It's been very well looked after from new. The paintwork is unmarked. And they're certainly becoming very good value when you consider they're about $260,000 when they were new. Plus on roads, plus taxes, etc. So if I open the boot, the roof's down at the moment. So if you think, gosh, I've got to put some golf clubs in or I need to put a suitcase in the back, easy. You just press this button and you're able to put luggage or shopping or whatever it is in the back. It does have a wind deflector as well, which is in the back. So you put what you need to in the back there, lock that off, press this button. I find at the moment there's a, there's a few SL500s from this era and SL350s from 2004. And uh, the prices vary considerably. Um, basically, it comes down to kilometres and condition. When you're buying a SL of any description, especially a 500, you really need to make sure it's got a good service history. In fact, you need to make sure it's got an excellent service history. They are very reliable, but unfortunately, being as reliable as they are, they can go a long way between servicing, which is fine, but just means down the track, things are going to wear prematurely. Uh, the other thing is this only has 64,000 kilometres. We've seen them with... In fact, I sold one four or five years ago, and back then, an O2... 500 had 180,000 kilometres. That did have a very good service history and it is still driving perfectly, according to the owner. But it's very impressive. They really are becoming very collectible. The R129, the previous model, is already collectible and I don't need to, to mention the ones before that, like the Pagoda and the SLCs, or the SLs, I should say. From... Uh, the 60s, 70s and 80s. But this is very, very nice. It does have the standard wheels on it, which I don't think is a bad thing at all. Some people put big 18, 19, 20, 21 inch wheels on it, which may look lovely to some people, but it also puts a significant amount of unnecessary strain and pressure on all the suspension components. The ABC system, which this car has, is a hydraulic system. It's very reliable. It's more reliable than the Airmatic found on a lot of S-Class sedans. It runs a tandem pump for the power steering and the suspension. Um, I've owned cars with ABC myself, and I have found it to be very reliable. Again, if you keep the fluid clean in the ABC unit,
it's going to be very reliable. Now, if the car had did 150,000 kilometres, the oil got dirty, it got grit in it, put it through the system, that's when you can have problems. The good thing about this car is it's got a very good service history, so all these things have been done. It's also up to you to decide what sort of a car it's going to be in, in five years or ten years or 100,000 kilometres. It's young enough to keep on top of all the fluid changes and things. Uh, the problem with buying a car the 100 or 150,000 kilometres, which hasn't been looked after, is it's too late. But the suspension works perfectly. You've got standard setting, which is this setting, and you can raise it up an inch, and you can raise it up another inch. So it's got three settings all together for the height, and then it's got ABC Sport, where it uses damp control to keep the car level. So in, when you go into corners, the car will always remain level. It also reacts to your driving, so if you're driving aggressively, I'm not saying you would, but say you went to a racetrack and you were going in and out of cones, the car would respond to that and it would stiffen up all the suspension. So it's a very clever system. It is a very good system. A lot of people are scared of ABC. They think ABC problems. It's actually a far simpler system than the air system found on other cars, including the S-Class. And you can see a hydraulic leak. You can't see an air leak. If you have any specific questions about this car, feel free to give us a call. You can contact the Old Time Centre on 95699999, area code 02. You can ask myself. My name is Philip. I'll be more than happy to help you and talk to you in more depth about suspension, engine, steering, whatever you like. Um, I'll finish off by saying it's probably the most reliable V8 to come out of Mercedes, the 5 litre, which is the... 113 motor. Absolutely excellent. Thank you for watching. We look forward to hearing from you soon.